Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another plant video. I am going to be talking about the best plants to give as gifts this year. It's December, it's the holiday season. I figured, why not? I do wanna preface this video by saying not everybody wants to receive plants, but if there's somebody who wants to get into plants or you got some sort of like vibe that they wanted plants this year, then I'd recommend doing these. And this video is also going to be like my top three wishlist plants. That's gonna be at the end of the video. And those wishlist plants are some plants that I feel like every plant lover would love to get. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get into the video. Okay, so the number one, I feel like cheapest and most variety sort of plant that you can get would be a syngonium. So syngoniums are really easy to care for. They are relatively easy to find. Maybe not this variegated one that looks like super crazy amazing, but this is available on Gabriella plants every now and then. And the syngonium itself is a plant that I think you can find at Lowe's and Home Depot's and every single garden center out there. And the varieties are beautiful. There's pink ones, there's veiny ones. It's just a great plant to collect. And I think it's a great plant to give to other people just because they are an easier plant to care for. And my second plant that I wanna talk about is Skindapsis because again, this plant has a bunch of varieties. Some of those varieties are very easy to find. I've actually started seeing some exoticas pop up at Lowe's and Home Depot's for like super cheap and these big baskets and I just, I wish I would have been able to have bought those as well. They're one of those plants that I think that you could have so many of them and still be happy with them and again, it's just so mesmerizing that I don't think that somebody would be upset if they got this plant. So yeah, this plant is Scandapsis exotica, and you can also find the regular Scandapsis at Home Depot. But yes, I think that these are awesome. These are also super easy to care for. They're really pretty and you can get a collection out of it. And it just, it makes people happy. So yeah, definitely Scandapsis. And then for number three, I'm gonna have to go with my Monstera Adansonii. Adansonii were one of the plants that I needed to have. Like when I first started, the Adansonii was like number one on my wish list. I loved it. It was amazing. It's so beautiful. They grow super fast because of this plant, I grew myself. This plant is just a bunch of cuttings from my larger Anzonii that I had and that I started off with only six months ago. So it's definitely a plant that you can learn from, you can enjoy the growth and you can enjoy how it looks. And I've seen that it's becoming more and more available. If you live in Houston, Tall Plants has always had them. I would recommend checking on Sundays. If you live elsewhere, I know that they have also been popping up at some Home Depots and Lowe's. So this is sort of for the type of person that <laughs> likes shopping at Home Depot and Lowe's and trying to find plants. Um, if you are that person and you are not a plant person, you have to be patient. You have to go to many Lowe's and many Home Depots to find the plant that you're looking for if you are not lucky to be able to find it the first time around. But yes, Monstera Adansonii, 100% one of those plants that I think everybody loves and I think that everybody can care for pretty easily. So yeah. Okay. And my fourth plant that I want to talk about is another easy plant that I found at my local Lowe's. You could also find it at Walmart. So you can find it at Home Depot's. I tried to make this list a list where it was a little more easily accessible to find these plants and not like super rare ones. So pretty much they got on my list if they were easy to find and also easy to care for. And that I think is the epitome of what a Cebu Blue is. These Cebu Blues are beautiful. They are an amazing color. The way they grow is like very bushy and traily. And in my opinion, you can put it anywhere. Um, it doesn't, it's not one of those plants that require a ton of light, a ton of care, a ton of maintenance. Um, pretty much it's 
the same care as a pothos because I believe they are in the same family. If you gift that plant to a person, I think that they would be super happy with it, especially if it's big and full and pretty. Mm -hmm. Wesley just knocked over my camera, so hopefully the frame isn't like super different from where it was before, but anyway, the last plant that I wanted to talk about was philodendrons. Philodendrons are probably the hardest one on this list to be able to gift, and if you know somebody that is obsessed with plants, I'm sure that they will flip if they get a Hartley philodendron from you. This is called a philodendron gloriosum. It's probably the least expensive Hartley philodendron that's out there, but it's just as beautiful and amazing as all the other ones are. I would recommend searching like high and low. eBay seems to have them available a lot. Just make sure that you know where it's coming from and how long it'll take to get to you. It is winter right now. Plant shops are still shipping, but just make sure that there's heat packs. Make sure that your weather is suited for a plant being able to make it in the mail if it's below like 50 degrees on the high side. I'd recommend 100% getting a heat pack and not ordering from somewhere that's super far away from you. But yeah, this is definitely for those people out there who are watching this video who know somebody who's obsessed with plants and know nothing about plants, <laughs> but are looking for a gift for a plant lover. Definitely one of these, these are great. So yeah. So my top three wishlist plants are, of course, the variegated Monstera Deliciosa. I love that plant so much, but I know how difficult it is to find. It is a wishlist plant of mine, but honestly, I'm just trying to wait it out to see if maybe at some point years from now, they are more readily available here in America and they are much cheaper than they are right now. I foresee that happening. I know that in multiple places I've seen people say that they've gotten them for like $50 overseas and it's like how? They're literally going for like $300, $400 here. But yeah, that's my top wish list plant but I think that it's gonna stay there for a hot minute just because it is way too expensive and if anybody bought it for me I would feel very guilty <laughs> because I know that it, they are very, very, very overpriced. But yeah, that is my first wishlist plant. My second wishlist plant would be an Anthurium forgettii or forgetti. These are so cute. I would love to expand my Anthurium and Philodendron collection, but they're just so much money that I cannot get myself to spend that sort of money on these plants, but they're so gorgeous. I love them so much. The forgetty eyes have this like teardrop shaped leaf where my clarinervium is like a heart shaped leaf and they're just they're just so cute and they would just look so cute together and but yeah I have so many anthurium on my wish list but that one is definitely at the top. It's definitely one that I have had there for again a while but I can't seem to get myself to spend that sort of money on that plant without seeing it in person first but yeah that's my number two wish list plant and then my number three wish list plant as of right now is a Scandapsis silver lady um, this is what it looks like please do not be duped online and buy a plant that does not look like this if it is not like this it's probably not a silver lady I do not want you guys to be spending like 80, $100 on just regular Scandapsis that you could probably find at your Lowe's. Um, make sure to do the research on it. But yes, this plant right here is beautiful. I know that NSE Tropicals has had this plant in stock before and it has also like sent this plant out to other people, but it's just such a beautiful plant. I don't know too much about it. So I don't know if this pattern on the leaves are going to stay that way for the entire like lifespan of this plant or if it's just like a random leaf that comes out this way or like random leaves that come out this way but that is one that I really want in my collection of Scandapsis so that's why it's my number three plant. So honestly my Hoya list is like way too long like way too long and that would probably be like a whole video in it of itself but that is pretty much it for my top three wishlist plants. My my fourth wishlist plant, like may, let me just like put it out there, is a Caudata Silver, like a Hoya Caudata Silver. 
I love the splashy silveriness on this plant. It is gorgeous. It's amazing. I just love it so much. Like the foliage is beautiful, but so are the flowers. The flowers on this plant is literally, they're fuzzy flowers. It is the most amazing thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. I need it so bad, but I've just never been able to find them online. And the other day, one of my favorite people to buy plants from, Grow Babies on Instagram, I've mentioned him in a few of my videos before. He had a purge on Time to Purge and Splurge. Time to Splurge and Purge. I forgot the name of the Facebook group, but I'm for sure going to leave that in the, in the description down below. He often does like purges of really, really, really cool Hoyas. And he purged a cutting of a Caudata Silver, like, and I wanted to cry because I missed it. And it was such a good price. Like, I, I totally, I didn't see that post until like three days after that purge had already ended. How could I have possibly missed that plant? That is pretty much it for my wish list and my gift guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a little something. If I miss anything during the video, I'll definitely like leave some little captions on the screen or I will like leave extra information in the description down below. Maybe you learned something and maybe you have new wish list plants, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have anything to leave in the comments down below, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Go ahead and let me know your wishlist plants or if you're like specifically asking for something for Christmas, I'd love to know that. Like, But yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you like me and you like plant videos, go ahead and subscribe if you want to. But that is gonna be it for today's video. So I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, bye.